Hello and welcome to Universal Tools, my name is Terry. Today we're going to be looking at one of our bus bar machine and carts. Designed and manufactured in Germany by Opera with great European quality. So let's have a look at some of the features that this fender puncher cutter and offsetting machine does. On this side of the machine we've got four drawers so you can put tooling in there. Got accessories. This drawer here is where all your punch and dies are kept. 9mm, 11mm, 13.5mm. We also do oblong for fish plates. And finally, in the bottom drawer, hydraulic hoses, and you can put your foot switch in there as well. Let's have a look at the, the bending feature on this bus bar machine. So in here, bring back the protective cover, and you'll notice that the bending shoe and the bending radius sits opposite each other. Here, we have got a limit switch, and a series of angles are engraved on the marker, depending which angle you want to bend at. So we're going to do a bend and I'm going to set it at 90 degrees and do it the knob like so. It's very important that when we're bending we have equal amount of distance from the middle of the cylinder which comes back to the width of the bus bar. What do we mean by that? Well, let's have a look. So this piece of bus bar here that we're gonna bend is 100 mil wide, which means that we need to have 50 mil spaced evenly in the middle of the piston shaft. Now, how we do that is we've got a wheel here, which raises and lowers our punching head. So at the moment you can see there's 40 mil and so we want to wind that up raising the punching head to 50 mil. There we go, 50 mil spot on which means we're ready to bend. So I'm going to put our piece of bus bar in here, ready for bending. Now I'm going to want to bend, say, a, a 60 mil leg, 90 degree 60 mil leg. We've got a ruler here, and so I'm going to set it 60 mil from the edge, do it up. So run the bus bar through to the stop. So at the moment it's in punching mode, and what I'm going to do is switch it across to bending mode. Now that we're ready for bending, we put our protective cover back over. So we're going to start bending now. And there we have it, 90 degree bend, absolutely perfect. Now we're going to have a look at the punching feature. It's quite a simple process to change from bending to punching. You just grasp the bending shoe like this, pull it out towards the die, and you just remove the bending radius. So you pull out the jack, remove the bending radius. Now we're going to choose our punch and die size. In this case, I'm going to go for a 11mm punch and die that suits an M10 bolt. Grab the punch and the die out. And it's written on the punch and the die, the size. You don't want to get them mixed up with the wrong size punch with the wrong size die. Always put the die in first. 
and that goes in that side. And then the punch goes in that side like that. You'll notice that it's got a red neoprene stripper. The idea of this is that as you're punching, this bulges up, and then once the punch is completed, it springs it off the material, and there's no catching on material on the punch. Now I'm gonna do just a couple of punches. One is gonna be in the very middle of the bus bar. The bus bar is 100 mil, and we've got our ruler set at 50 mil. And I'm going to punch, I'm going to set up the length fence, like so, and we're ready to punch. So putting our protective cover back over. Now as you can see, it's in the bending mode. All we do is switch across to punching mode, and we're ready to go. So that's the two holes that were punched. Now we're gonna punch two more. I'm gonna go 20 mil in from the sides. So what we do is, with our wheel, we now lower the punching head down to 20 mil. That's to punch 20 mil in from the edge. We've just punched our two holes. First one is 20 mil in from the edge to the center of the hole. And then this one here is 20 mil in from the edge to the center of the hole. Now what we're gonna do is perform what we call offsetting or bus bar. That provides a very tight kink in the bar by two sets of jaws. Grasp the bending shoe and pull it out then take out your bending radius but ensure that the jack plug is maintained in its hole then grab this side of the offsetting shoe slide it in and Another part of the offsetting shoe and slide it in like so. Okay, just gonna offset a little bit of 80mm bar. Put it in there. Protective cover over. We've got it in bending mode. Release the cover, and there you can see our 10 mil offset. I'm going to have a look at the bus bar cutting part of this machine, and they're going to cut a piece of 80 mil wide bar. And this is how you do it. So you push your bar through to where you desired to want. You can see it through there, and you've also got a tape measure here so if you want it 130 mil in cut you set it at 130 now to cut it evenly I'm then going to move the side guide to 40 mil lock it in and that ensures that this 80 mil bar is cut evenly in the middle now these here are our hold down clamps so you wind that one down on that side lock it widen now this one on this side and lock it. Now we're ready to go. That does the cut. There's the slug. And we're ready to release the bus bar.
So this is our demonstration now completed on our bus bar machine where we've demonstrated bus bar bending, offsetting, punching bus bar and cutting bus bar. And if you think this machine is the machine for your switchboard workshop, you can visit us on www.utcco.com.au or you can drop us a line at sales.utcco.com.au. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.